Within the airway management platform, it's actually very easy to track down wireless end users or clients. Probably the most convenient way of doing that is using the Airwave search box. Literally type in the name of the authentication name of the client into the search field and the software automatically will go out looking for an instance of that user and tying that directly to their MAC address, the access point SSID they're using, all the way down to the individual IP address. The way the Airwave software accomplishes this is by actually not only talking to the wireless LAN infrastructure, but also communicating with the authentication infrastructure, typically through radius accounting, as well as potentially to routers and switches. Now from a help desk or troubleshooting purpose, it's as easy as clicking on the user's MAC address to get a specific picture of what's going on with that end user. From this page, you can clearly see things like the end user's client signal, their individual wireless bandwidth utilization information, details about their current association, including their physical location. You can actually see a map, and if we go ahead and click on this map, we can get a much more detailed view of where that particular client is on the map, how well they are connected to the access point, uh, what PHY mode they're using to connect to the access point, and then other details about their connection history, including being able to go in and display things like a heat map to understand if there's coverage concerns or not. Also within this view, we can drill down and see their association history. So if it's important to know what the roaming history of that particular client is over time, you can quickly gain that information. And this information can be stored anywhere from weeks upwards to two years. For additional information for troubleshooting, you can go into the client diagnostic page, which will show possible issues with the client and any kind of diagnostic summary and user count information, as well as about information about the AP they're attached to and any kind of counters. The graphs will automatically appear in red if that is a potential issue.